Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. So let's jump right in for Libra. Swords, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please for Libra regarding love. This will be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Libra. What does Libra need to know regarding love? So let's start with what's going on in your connection right now. What are the energies between you? Um, what's been going on or what's currently the situation? Spirit, tell us what is currently going on between Libra and this other person. What do we need to know about this connection? Oh, Eight of Cups. That's sad. Someone could have walked away. Walked away from something, someone. Um, could have walked away from this connection. What else? What else is going on for Libra? Queen of Pentacles reverse. Interesting, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, for me as a reader, she is unable to give. She is dependent, not independent. So she could be, she could be financially dependent on someone or just is needy of someone or needs someone because they can't do it on their own or they can't give on their own. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse tends to care more about material goods um or are bad with finances typically they're not the most dependable partner you can't really rely on them because they're not really grounded or they can't stand on their own two feet someone here could have walked away from a connection maybe because they weren't receiving what they felt they deserved can I get one more for what's going on for Libra in love at this time, Spirit? What do we need to know about this connection? Two of Pentacles. So someone going back and forth, trying to make a decision, weigh their options. Someone very busy. This is someone I feel mentally going back and forth about something. To the bottom of the deck, King of Wands, reverse. So I feel like this is someone that's not taking action. They're just thinking about something. Um, you know, maybe they're weighing their options before they make a move. Let's see. Can I get some clarity, please? For Libra. Oh. Okay. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. And Libra, this could be you that walked away or this could be this other person. You could be walking away from something outside of this connection as well. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Moon, Pisces energy. Interesting, I feel like this is someone that doesn't really know where they're going. Confusion, doubt. Maybe someone's walking away from an illusion. Can I get one more for the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh. Queen of Cups. Interesting. Oh, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is someone that definitely walked away. But what I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups, it's almost like this was not an emotional, or I shouldn't say that. This wasn't a, a departure based off of emotions. I don't know. I think this is someone like lost. They're leaving, but perhaps they don't know where they're going. They just know that they have to leave. Ah, there's a two of pentacles again. Oh, maybe this is someone trying to decide if they should leave. 
okay i think this is someone trying to decide if they should leave either this connection or something that could be affecting this connection tell me about the queen of pentacles i'm gonna put that back because i didn't ask my question tell me about the queen of pentacles reverse why is the queen of pentacles reverse what can you tell me about the queen of pentacles ah king of pentacles so these two don't really go together they're not on the same page there's the six of swords again i feel like that's probably why someone's thinking about leaving this could be somebody leaving the past behind leaving a person can get one more for the Queen of Pentacles reverse? But these two are not seeing eye to eye. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This could also be someone presenting themselves. Oh, well, there you are, Libra, Justice. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that. Um, There's, there's, there's logic here. Someone's looking at this situation in a logical way, in an analytical way, from all angles, and trying to decide what's fair to them. Because this right here, the, these two are not on the same page. They're on different, I don't know, levels. And so it's unfair. It's unbalanced. So justice is here to kind of make sure that things are fair and balanced. Justice is, does not deal with emotions. Justice is all about being objective. Emotions don't sway you in your decision making. You're thinking logically and analytically about a problem or a situation and in the end the decision is just. It's fair. Hmm. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Two of Pentacles? What do we need to know about the Two of Pentacles? Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. The star. Aquarius energy. Hope, faith. I feel like someone's going back and forth whether to believe in something or not. Maybe they want to have hope, but the reality just doesn't, you know what I mean? It's like someone that's trying to still have hope despite the fact that things feel hopeless or don't look to be good or, you know, Aquarius energy with the star. I'm also getting here that someone is like thinking of themselves, self-care. For some reason, it's like someone debating whether they should do something for themselves. Can I get another energy for this Two of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? King of Wands. This is about action. Yeah, someone's not sure. That's why the King of Wands showed up reverse. They're not ready to take action yet or go after something. Maybe they're not able or ready to be bold enough to do something. So I feel what's going on here between you and another person is that at least one of you is debating whether you should leave or stay. And I know that that seems to, I mean, relationships are not that complicated. <laughs> I feel like I do the same reading for different signs at different times of the year, but that's because there's only so many things that can really go on in a connection, you know? 
I mean, obviously there's little things that are very different, but the main themes of a relationship, I feel like they're, they're constantly like cycling, you know, because that's just what ends up happening in relationships. So I think this is just a very simple scenario of someone deciding whether they should stay in a connection or find out where, what else is out there, you know? But it's hard to make this decision. And they're trying to make this decision in a logical or objective way or trying to be fair to themselves. Another thing I see here is that this could be because of a third party. Um, and I mentioned that because there's two queens here. And this, this eight of cups is like tied to this queen of cups. So I'm almost wondering if someone's walking away towards a queen of cups. We'll see. We're going to keep um, digging in here to the energies between you and get a little bit more insight. So let's grab some oracles. I'm going to start with my stellar energy oracle. Libra, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, give me some insight, please. What can you tell us about the energies between Libra and this other person? The energies between Libra and this other person. Someone's thinking a lot about you. I'm wondering why, because if they can talk to you, why so much thinking? Tell me about Libra's energy. Tell me about Libra's energy and this connection. Pure seduction. You're being tempted to give in to your desires, lust, temptation, desire. Okay, you could be desire. Okay, let's see, let me pull one more for you. What else for Libra? What else do we need to know about Libra's energies? This connection? Yeah, walking away. I think you might be the one thinking about walking away. Mm. Okay, tell me about Libra's person. <laughs> oh, wow, that one came out pretty quickly. Unhealthy attachment. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. Tell me more about Libra's person. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about their energies? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. So once again, I'm wondering if there's a third party here, but let's say there isn't. Let's say that this is just you and them. If that is the case, if there is no third party, then I feel like this person has some sort of unhealthy attachment either with you or that is affecting your connection. For example, they could have some sort of codependency, addiction, or something like that. Um, the connection could have turned toxic as well. Um, I feel like in their mind though, there's still a lot of potential for growth for something to play out. Um, whereas you, I feel like you're ready to just walk away, cut your losses. Now, if there is a third party, I feel like this person has been in an unhealthy connection with someone else and you've been waiting for them to walk away and that hasn't happened. Maybe you have a physical connection, but it's there's no commitment. I see that too. So let's see what else we get. What else do we need to know? What are the energies between Libra and this person? Tell me about Libra. Oh my gosh. Okay, journey makes sense. And sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. Um, let me look at that. I'm thinking of the Wheel of Fortune, but 
or maybe even the Ace of Pentacles. Lucky card, 777, seven, seven. okay. Success, gain or profit in your job, a secure partnership, money you don't have to work for, a bonus. Um, maybe you got a job offer somewhere else or some sort of financial bonus that is making you think about a journey here. Maybe you like traveling. I feel like an opportunity presented itself to you and now it's like it's forcing you to make a decision. Let's see, what about your person? Tell me about the person Libra is dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies in this connection. Change, number nine. Hmm, bottom of the deck we have a message. They could be contacting you about a change that they're making in their life, maybe to tell you they've changed. Maybe they're going through some sort of transition. Some of you are dealing with someone that's telling you that they're gonna move out or leave a place. I feel like this person has made you a promise. Tell me more, tell me more, spirit, about the energies between Libra and this other person. What do we need to know? Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. We need to talk. Okay, so you want answers. That's the main energy I'm getting. Not just talking, just to talk. But you want to know something specific. Okay, tell me about Libra's person. This person could also be telling you, hey, we need to talk. We need to talk about this. And you're like, eh, I'm not interested. <laughs> okay, tell me about Libra's person. What do we need to know about Libra's person? That one wanted to come out. I regret what happened. Well, okay. So your person has regrets. Something happened then between you and this person. I mean, of course, it makes sense. You wouldn't just walk away from for, for no reason. You wouldn't be considering walking away for no reason. Okay, let's look. A little bit closer here with the tarot. Move this a little bit over here. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Libra and this other person. What do we need to know about what's going on? Oh. Tell me more for Libra. What do we need to know? Wow, the sun and the ten of cups. I'm gonna put those together. What else do we need to know? Hmm. You've been thinking about something specific. It's like if I were to do this, I would be so much happier. Or maybe this is my chance to be happy. Something like that. I really hope this isn't what this person promised you. Knight of Pentacles reverse, yeah. Um, I feel like this person, you've been waiting for them for a really long time, or what feels like forever. But this hasn't arrived. This offer from them, either it wasn't very solid to begin with, or it hasn't arrived. I feel like you've been waiting for something that you haven't gotten, and that's why the Queen of Pentacles is reversed. Knight of Swords, okay. 
So I feel like there's some sort of conversation you might be having with this person. I feel like maybe this person can give you this, the Knight of Swords, but not the Knight of Pentacles. Let me clarify these energies. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Sun. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Sun? Page of Pentacles. Ah, see? Something, something comes in for you. But I don't think it's from this person. Yeah, look, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Unless they're making you some sort of a promise. Look at this, the sun. Yeah, this, this is connected. Let me see what's behind this. Strength, Leo energy. I don't think it's from this person. We'll see if anything um, comes up on their end. I think this is something a little bit smaller, um, like a job opportunity or something like that. If this is a promise from this person, like let's go out or something like that, um, maybe in your mind this is the opportunity you've been wanting. But I don't know. I, I still feel like this might be something else. Let's see. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups and the Sun? Why is the Ten of Cups here with the sun? Yeah, the world. See, I feel like you're gonna, there's something that's gonna come in for you that makes you very happy or it gives you this opening. Like I'm, I'm picturing a door open for you. You could even go traveling, like actually go on a trip. And I feel like this is exactly what you wanted. Some of you are graduating like school and or certification of some sort and it brings a job offer. And all you can think is, yes, let's go. Yes, let's go. Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles here. This is a big opportunity for you. I don't know why I'm picking up that it's not love. I just don't, I'm not picking up an energy of love. Okay. Let's look at this Knight of Pentacles reverse before I get distracted. <laughs> Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. What's this about? Yeah, this is your person. I feel like this is also you. This could be you still like debating because what you've been expecting or hoping for has not happened. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, this opportunity came in, but this is gonna be just for a small number of you, but if it does resonate, then of course leave me a comment, let me know. But I felt this very strongly. Some of you were waiting to accept this offer because it would affect your connection with this person. And so maybe this offer requires you to move away, for example. And so you didn't want to do that. You didn't want to create distance between you. And so maybe you were, you know, debating whether you should accept this offer. Um, that's for a small number of you. Let's see. What else do we uh, need to know about this Knight of Pentacles reverse? What about the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel this is tied to this. This is tied to this. So I, I still feel like some of you were just thinking, you know, this is a hard decision. I know it's exactly what I need in my life, but something else was kind of making you doubt. There's the Ace of Wands and the Magician, exactly. I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a job offer or something like that. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. I just don't think it's a coincidence that you have journey walking away and setting wealth here. You know, I just don't, I don't think that it's a coincidence that you have these energies here and then 
Okay, let me let me let me keep going. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords. I feel like this might be a really long reading. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Can we get one more for the Knight of Swords, please? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The Moon. Pisces energy. And there's the Eight of Wands. So this is communication that I feel maybe you're waiting to hear from this person. This is all connected. The moon shows up again. I feel like you were kind of waiting in the dark or waiting without knowing or expecting something but not really knowing all of the facts or maybe having doubts. I feel like this is a situation where maybe when you're prepared to leave, a message comes in quickly. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. This could be a really quick message that comes in. What's behind this? Five of Wands. Interesting. Um, it's almost like, you know, some of you could be dealing with someone that doesn't want you to have success elsewhere. He doesn't want you to walk away or is trying to um, distract you. Let's see if we can get some insight from this person. Tell me more about the person that Libra is dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? What do we need to know about their energies? See it? Yeah, Six of Swords Reverse. They're trying to prevent you from leaving, I feel. Or want you to return to them. Tell me more about this person. The four reverse. Yep. If, okay, hold on. Can I get one more for this person? The devil reverse. Capricorn energy. So the full reverse, I feel, is like the journey card. If you're not, if this person is not trying to keep you from leaving, maybe you were meant to leave together, but they're not going to be able to go into a new cycle or to a new place. I think a lot of you are dealing with someone that doesn't want you to go, though. 